Hi. In this video, what I'd like to do is talk about the counterexample method. And what I'm going to do is use an example that is included in your text, and it's the following. All diabetes victims are either insulin takers or glucose eliminators. Accordingly, some diabetes victims are glucose eliminators, since some diabetes victims are insulin takers. Okay. Now, the first thing that I want to do here is I want to find the conclusion, okay? And I have the conclusion indicator word here accordingly, and so I know that the conclusion is going to be this. So I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it down here somewhere. Well, there we go, and paste. All right. So we've got that. Um, one premise then is going to be since, obviously, because that is a premise indicator. And I'm going to paste it here. And then the other premise, of course, is this. All diabetes victims are either insulin takers or glucose eliminators. Okay. All right, so this is what I have. Now, the next thing I want to do is find the form, okay? Now, to find the form, I'm going to start to look for the familiar things. And I typed all the familiar ones up here. So I've got all ARB, no ARB, some ARB, some A or not B, A or B, if A then B. And so looking at this and looking for the familiar, I've got... Um, I'm going to skip this one because I've got insulin takers, glucose eliminators in both of these, but I want to look at the easier ones. And so the conclusion here is going to be some D R G. All right. The one of the premises then is going to be some D R I. All right. Now, it's this one that's a little funky because I've got all diabetes victims are either insulin takers or glucose eliminators. I is insulin takers and G is glucose eliminators. So I've got all D, which is diabetes victims, are I or G. Okay. Or I guess I should be more precise and say either I or G. All right. Now, remember, when we say something is either one thing or another, it could be all of them are I. Because if, if all, um, well, I'll, I'll use an example of this in just a second. So I've got this. All D are either I or G. Some D are I. Therefore, some D are G. Okay? Now, Remember that now that I have the form, I'm trying to show this is invalid by showing that the two premises can be true and yield a false conclusion. So let's see what we've got. Okay. Now, what I want to do in this case is I want to find something where it's true that all of them are one thing or another. Um, it's true that some of them are this, and therefore, but false that some of them are this. Now, what's true about this then is if they're either this or this, and it's true that some of them are this, it means all of them also have to be this. I hope that makes sense to you, because if they're, if it's false that they're all, that any of them are G, if it's false that any of them are G, if it's true that some of them are I, and they all have to be either I or G, then they all have to be I. So I need to find something where all of them are I and none of them are G, okay? And so let's use dogs. All dogs, sorry, all dogs are either mammals or fish. Okay, that's true. Every single dog is either a mammal or a fish. Some dogs are mammals. Now remember that in log logic E, some R just means at least one. 
And finally, conclusion, some dogs are fish. Okay? All dogs are either mammals or fish. True. Some dogs are mammals. True. Now let's put periods at the end of these. Some dogs are fish. False. Okay? We've done it. Counterexample method showing that this is false. I'm hoping that this short video uh, demonstrated the counterexample method adequately.